in the knockout program, 11 o'clock British time, now, midday, Central European, and here is the main event. Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, well, main Madison event. Square Garden Boxing. Bob Not Goodman, to me, it ain't. Boxing and matchmaker. The number and one featherweight in the world, Kevin Kelly. In a mismatch main event. with and Adolfo Castillo. The New York State and I can't Commission. find any trace the of Castillo's record. Randy I do apologize. Chairman. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10 round featherweight bout, referee Samuel Verduet. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the solid blue trunks. He weighed in at an even 125 pounds. This young man has 16 wins, 10 losses with 6 knockouts. All the way from Reynosa, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Adolfo Castillo. So there's Adolfo Castillo then, 16 Castillo. and 10. Six knockouts. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the green trunks with the black and gold trim. He weighed in at an even 127 pounds. Now this young man is undefeated in 34 pro bouts with 25 knockouts. He is currently ranked number one by all three, the WBA, WBC, and the IBF, and is the current WBC Connell America's featherweight champion. From Flushing, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. There he is, Kevin Kelly, unbeaten in 34 straight fights, 25 stoppage wins, and he's penciled in for a September date with Goyo Vargas, of course, the man who dethroned Paul Hodkins into the WBC Championship. But uh, Kelly's management claim there's not been a date, sorry, or a venue specified for the match, so they ain't going to sign their contract till there is. And that should take place on the Puno Whitaker Julio Cesar Chavez undercard or double header. And I fancy Chavez to win that, regardless of what my mate Ken Morton reckons. Anyway, this should be a mismatch. As I say, I can't find any information whatsoever on a very skinny, frail looking Castillo. Except this is his second straight Paramount performance. Last time out, he dropped an eight-round decision to the top ten ranked Jose Garcia, which was his first fight outside of his native Mexico. Oops, and uh, Kelly drops in with a straight left. It didn't look particularly impressive. Less than 30 seconds gone on the clock. And Kelly's best recent win, in fact, was uh, last time out. He stopped the never-before-stopped Jesus Pole in May in six rounds. Was beat Peter Nieves in two as well in January of this year. We just saw Nieves in action against Legrand. Looked unlucky to have got stopped. But uh, Kelly took part in one of the best fights ever seen at the Garden. That was against Troy Dorsey for the, uh, he in fact defended his WBC Continental America's Featherweight Championship last February, you might remember. And I screamed about that one. 12 rounds of absolute war. Which got in the top three for the voting and fight of the year in the States but didn't win it, surprisingly. Beat uh, Rafael Zanuga for that uh, Continental Americas Championship. Also New York State featherweight champion, beat Job Walters in seven. Won a couple of Brits as well. Ours with Richie Foster, knocked out and around in Rotterdam. Kelly Corsa, uh, stable mate of Rosilio Tour, the former European champion. Also boxed Russell Davison from uh, Manchester and appointed Russ in December of 1989, once again in Rotterdam. And another couple of uh, men worth a mention, I think, uh, or one man worth a mention, on two occasions he fought Kelly. Tony Barella, a very, very good amateur, and Barella went the distance twice with Kelly. Lost on points on both occasions. And a nice left hand again from Kevin Kelly. A flushing flash, trained by Phil Borgia. In fact, Borgia trained as an amateur. Knows him backwards. And the slickest southpaw you'll ever want to see. And I dare say that Kevin Kelly would have his uh, chances of beating any of the uh, so-called title holders. 
Vargas voted top of the pile with 87% in that Boxing Newsreader survey. Young Kyung Park got 11%. He's the WBA champion. Stefan Johnson, of course, IBF champion. He ended up with 1%. And Ivan Robinson from the WBO got 1% as well. So uh, Vargas clearly the favourites as far as boxing news is concerned. Don't forget these votes are only about champions, they're not about uh, contenders. There's not really any point in scoring this fight because Kevin Kelly is so way and above the overmatched and out-punched, out-fought, out-classed opponent. Not really worth talking about, is it? And it's a terrible shame to go out on a, such a low note here. Adolfo Castillo. Oh, his claim to fame will be he fought the last fight against Kevin Kelly in the garden, as it was. And Kelly can look a bit ordinary on occasion. He really does need to be pitted in with someone who can test him to bring out the best. And Kelly won't want a quick blow out here. As I say, he's trying to prepare for that date in September with Goya Vargas, and he'll need all the preparation he can get, I feel. It was a pretty even money fight with Kelly against Paul Hopkinson. And uh, having been brutally stopped by Vargas, you've got to fancy him to have his chances against Kelly. And it's really Kelly hitting this man with absolute ease. Adolfo Castillo is the name. Looks nothing more than a blown up flyweight. Down again. Well, I think the referee Sammy Virovich should stop this and save uh, Castillo from any further punishment, which he's surely going to get. Oh, thumping left hook from Kelly. And it looks like he's decided, well, he's going to go. It might as well be now. Well, that'll do. It's the third time that uh, Castillo has hit the deck. No, it's all over. No, he wants to go on, but uh, he didn't look keen enough when he got the opportunity. So Virouet stopped it to rack up number 35 for Kevin Kelly with 26 inside the distance. And I think that will be one he won't remember with too much fondness and the crowd quite rightly booing. So it's matches like this Ladies over the years that have given Gilbert. Madison Square Garden a bad name. They've had some good ones, I do accept that. Stops this bout anyway, minutes. that's the end of our programme this evening. Don't forget tomorrow, we've got that special retrospective for you. Muhammad Ali Kevin and Kelly. Marvin Hagler. Not against each other, of course. Kelly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this evening's programme. And uh, I look forward to you being with us tomorrow around lunchtime. <laughs>